you know, walking along, walking along. Oops. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> oh, uh, we do. The, we do have them though. We have both the 16 inch and 14 inch of the new MacBook Pros. Uh, this one here is the base model. We have a uh, regular model that has the same kind of specs as this 16 inch, which is the uh, full fat M1 Pro. Uh, these are the M1 Pro models. The maxes are a little bit further out. People are saying, oh, you're getting super excited about a thing that you don't even have yet. And it's like, that's not quite what that's all about. The excitement isn't about, oh, it's a new shiny. I like the shinies. Give me the shinies. It's about, Apple has been going in the wrong direction for a long time now, like at least since 2016. And now we have something that's what a lot of people feel is a return to form. It's back to the similar kind of form factor and design philosophy that kind of exemplified the 2015 and earlier MacBook Pros. Now, granted, they're probably, I haven't taken one apart, but they're probably still not very repairable and Obviously, you have the Apple ecosystem to deal with because these are M1 Apple Silicon processors, so you're not gonna install Windows on here and Linux is just kind of just getting off the ground for these platforms. But it's something that is exciting just because it kind of brings us back to the idea that Apple is a company that can listen to feedback, that can admit that sometimes it makes mistakes, that sometimes innovation requires going back to the drawing board in order to make something that's a little bit less restrictive. And that's what we've got here today. Let's start off with the uh, 14 inch here. I, uh, I always love Apple boxes. These are super high quality. And of course they're just cardboard. They're just, just good quality cardboard. I like it. Uh, actually, let's take a look at the bottom. Yeah, there's nothing on there really. And Jono informs me that this is a uh, sponsored video by Dbrand, which is evident by the nice marble skin we have on here. Let's just set this aside for now. We'll talk more about Dbrand later. They paid us. They paid us. They didn't pay me though. Okay, so we got this. This is the, uh, oh, is this the base model power adapter? What is, what's the size of this thing? Because one of the things about the base model MacBook is that you don't, by default, get the fast charging capable power adapter. So what do we get here? We got a 96 watt. I think this is the fast charging one. I think the other one is 65 watts or something like that. So we must have upgraded this, or I have the wrong one. This is the wrong one. This is actually the uh, 10 core and 16 core GPU model. So I thought this was the 14 core and eight core, or eight, eight and 14. I guess Horst got the this year model. He didn't know? Uh -oh. Oops. The difference between the eight core and 14 core and the uh, 10 core and 16 core model is just basically that one is binned down. It's not actually different silicon as far as I know. Uh, it makes the most sense because like, Apple's not selling this stuff to anybody else. So it's just gonna go into a lower model MacBook. But that's not the only interesting thing about the new power adapter. We also have this new connector. The adapter itself is still type C. That's, that's not changed, I don't think. Oh, it's braided. I forgot about that. Apple cables are never really usually braided. They're usually just like uh, silicone wrapped or whatever. So USB type C on one end with a little paper cap plugs into the adapter like so. And on the other end, that is MagSafe. And that is a very, very short MagSafe connector. Let's get the MacBook out of its little protective sheath there and see what that's like to plug in. That actually looks cooler in person than I thought it would. The MacBook Pro embossed on the bottom. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. And also these feet are nice. These are better than the feet that were on the old MacBooks. Like they were just held in by, I think like a plastic rivet. Let's, uh, let's, wow, that is, that is shallow. Yeah, so MagSafe just goes right in like that. How about that? You know, walking along, walking along. Oops. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh okay. Well, <laughs> it did work. But uh, if that was a little bit closer to the edge, it probably wouldn't have worked quite so well. However, if that was a USB type C cable plugged into there, that would have been on the floor. So it still, still points to MagSafe. 
the gap here, usually there's like more of a lip where the uh, the lid meets the chassis, but it's very, very flush. It's like difficult for me to get into there. Like I, I can get my fingernail in there, but that's about it. So we've got that shallow mag safe that did the job. Type C Thunderbolt 4 connections, two of them on this side and one more on the other side. We have this high impedance headphone output now this SD card slot, do, do we have a full size SD card that I can just borrow real quick? Yeah. I'm interested to know what the depth of it is and whether it's like a clicky kind of affair. So how deep does this go? <laughs> yeah, it's about like back then. So you get one of these half height cards and you can flip it in there and uh, it's totally in there. Anyway, we got this other Thunderbolt 3 port here and a full size HDMI port, which is Woo! which is HDMI 2.0. There are people saying, oh, well, it should be HDMI 2.1. Why is a new machine coming with HDMI 2.0? And I mean, I get that. I would prefer HDMI 2.1, but at the same time, you had to think about what Apple is trying to accomplish there. Like not all video cards, I think right now, or even displays have HDMI 2.1 uh, inputs and outputs. This is mostly intended for use with a TV most of which don't have HDMI 2.1 to this day. Ah, see, I wasn't going to turn it on. I was gonna wait to turn it on after I talked to you about dbrand, whatever. So dbrand sponsored this video. You, you can see that they, they sponsored it by the, the, the sticker on the back here, the, uh, the nice sticker for your technical pro your technology products, the, the very expensive sticker. Expensive though it may be, it actually does feel really nice and it is visually appealing. Um, I'm not sure if I would prefer it over the bare metal, but at the same time, it's protecting your bare metal. So your MacBook, which famously holds its value for a long time, will hold its value even better with a dbrand skin on it to protect it from scuffs and scrapes. They still, they're not following me on Twitter, so I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go out of my way to... Anyway. <laughs> this looks real nice. Um, yeah, the keyboard is nice feeling. It feels like an actual keyboard, like it feels like an, an, an Apple keyboard. Obviously we have the notch, which wasn't super noticeable just now, but now it is. One thing that has been noted about the notch, if there are too many menu items up here, or there are too many items in the bar over here, they'll go under the notch. <laughs> Hopefully Apple fixes that. Uh, I don't know how they're going to, like maybe if there's too many things, it'll just give you an overflow menu or I, I, I don't know. There, there's gotta be a way around that. Um, it would have been a lot easier to deal with if there weren't such a big notch. I don't think it would bother me that much in everyday use, um, but I am focusing pretty hard on it right now just because I, I'm paying attention to it. You do get a bigger camera. Yeah, it's 1080p. I should probably take some kind of picture or recording with it. Let's, uh, they still have photo booth. They do, great. Um, yes, okay, cool, that just took a moment. Uh, oh wow, that's, that's actually, that actually looks pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. Is, is it smoothing? I don't know. Yeah, I don't look that yeah. young, IRL. <laughs> yeah, you've got no texture in your yeah. face. And it looks like I just like lathered up with lotion. It's weird. Is there no way to turn this off? I don't know. Uh, yeah, we should probably crab rib, I guess. I have no doubt that it's gonna be good. This is the 14 inch, by the way, so. Whatever this sounds like, we're gonna have to fire up the 16 inch and see what that sounds like. Also, can you get me an iFixit kit? I wanna take this thing apart. Nah, this is, this is pretty good. Like th this spatial audio is like actually just really, really good, like not quite surround, but stereo expansion. That sounds like a good Bluetooth speaker. Um, I don't know if you were hearing that. You wanna like sit here and like listen to that? I think that's better than the XPS. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not even close. Yeah. But like the stereo imaging and the bass and the, the tightness of everything is just really good. Also the screen. Um, is this in ProMotion? I think it is. Like it, it, it has to, yeah, that's definitely ProMotion. So one of the neat things about ProMotion is that it's just, 
Apple's fancy word for saying adaptive refresh rate, um, 120 hertz. But the, the neat thing about it is that it can be set for 60 hertz or 48 hertz, which is a multiple of 24 for film stuff. Oh, I can turn off HDR. But then again, like if your content looks better without HDR, like Apple's HDR tone mapping looks pretty good for the most part. Um, but if you end up with issues where you need like accurate color, then yeah, you should probably turn it off. Uh, so that's as dark as the screen gets. I don't know if you can actually see it. I, I can see it. Yeah, that's as, that's as dark as it gets without turning off. So if I go one tick over, it turns off. I want to see how the 16 inch sounds. It's like, I don't expect it to be significantly different in terms of the display or anything else, but I want to see how it sounds because it's bigger. It's got a bigger theoretical resonance chamber. Actually, I wasn't going to talk about anything else other than the sound, but the difference in screen real estate makes it so that the notch basically doesn't matter. This is, this is what I would prefer to carry. Very similar, but base is much tighter and fuller on the, the 16 inch, which is what I would expect. So I'm, in, I'm pretty impressed so far with the overall fit and finish of this thing, as well as its performance in terms of audio and visuals. Let's rip it apart. All right, we got Torx, as usual. There are probably gonna be clips down here too, so I, I hope there's no screws under these feet. This, this bevels in, and that's why I can't... Also, yes, I did kind of push that one in. It's okay, don't worry about it. Oh, no, it just comes forward. Great, got it. As they say, our computers are better looking on the inside than the others are on the outside. Is that true? It does look pretty good. It does look pretty good, doesn't it? Look at those fans. I love the face. Yeah, the face, it make, they, they, they make it make a face all the time. Even just like, this touch on the fan there. Yeah. I was really hoping that I would see a removable SSD, but I don't see one of those. I do see the wireless antennas here. That goes out to the main area there. The bat no, I think this is the battery here on both of these sides, maybe the speakers. Uh, yeah, it's difficult to tell without taking it further apart what each of these is for. Well, that was fun and illuminating. We got to see what the insides of this MacBook look like. We got to... Does it just power on automatically when you open the lid? Like, it was off. Bottom line, I mean, fit and finish of it is excellent. The notch is, we'll see. Yeah, it's in a form factor that's reminiscent of the older, slightly chunkier, but it's actually not all that much chunkier, if any, um, MacBook form factors that we have come to miss. I appreciate it. That's where I was going with this. I appreciate the fact that we're not trying to reduce volume by any means necessary. We're using that volume for more, maybe not necessarily power, although there, this is presumably significantly more powerful than this guy, which I currently have upside down. And I'm gonna leave it that way because it's on the way out. Oh, oh got him. And this is why people are so excited about this generation of MacBooks. Not because, oh, it's a new shiny. It's because it represents something more. It represents a return to form that Honestly, for many people, Apple hasn't been to in a long time. And, you know, you can stay here for a long time if you want to. I'll stick around. Um, you know, the, the weather recently was pretty bad. We had that cyclone, that bomb cyclone. Um, but you should probably just get subscribed and follow uh, Short Circuit for more unboxings like this one. You don't really want to stick around too long because I'm not that interesting in terms of small talk.